Hello, I am Fu Xiang Chen from the University of British Columbia. The title of our paper is on the transferability of pre-trained language models for low-resource programming languages. And this work is a collaboration with Fatima Fa from the University of British Columbia, David Lowe from the Singapore Management University, and Timofey Briskin from JetBrains Research. In this work, we refer to a pre-trained language model as PRM. There have been some attempts to understand how PLMs affect the performance of different downstream tasks. Despite the existing efforts to understand PLMs, there are still many unknowns on the transferability of PLMs for programming languages. Firstly, existing PLMs are trained either on a programming language or on multiple programming languages. Little is known if PLMs trained on a particular programming language use better performance than a more general PLM that is trained on multiple programming languages. A closely related work is by Ahmed M. Divambu that studied the effects of fine-tuning multilingual pre-trained models. However, some programming languages are inherently different, so utilizing a single multilingual model may not always use the best performance. Secondly, the zero-shot settings in previous work is lightly studied. A small study on zero-shot code summarization was conducted using CodeBird. The unseen programming language used was c -sharp, and it has a similar structure to Java, which was one of the programming languages used to pre-train CodeBird. Other programming languages may have very different structures as compared to the programming languages used to pre-train PLMs. Also, during the pre-training, fine-tuning, and testing processes, different programming languages may be used. Thirdly, the current datasets that are released for training PLMs on software engineering related tasks are dominated by a few languages, mainly Java and Python. They are known as high resource programming languages as there is a high volume of code written in them. In a recent survey conducted by Stack Overflow, we observed that although Java and Python are among the popular programming languages used by developers, Developers also reported that they are using 36 other programming languages such as Ruby, Kotlin, and Scala. Thus, understanding if PRMs pre-trained on high-resource programming languages can be utilized for other programming languages is important. To bridge the gap in understanding the applicability and the transferability of PRMs in software engineering, in this study, we focus on studying the impact of PRMs on a low-resource programming language through five research questions. We will look at each of the research questions shortly. Ruby is chosen as the study subject because it is highly ranked among low-resource languages in the Stack Overflow survey and it is also a commonly used low-resource programming language. In RQ1, we are interested to know if additional programming languages add merits to pre-training a PLM in different tasks. We train multiple PLMs that will be used for fine-tuning on two different widely used downstream tasks, code summarization and code search. We observe that for code summarization, multilingual PLMs fine-tuned on the combined multilingual dataset perform better than monolingual PLMs, whereas for code search, monolingual PLMs perform better than multilingual PLMs. Although the performance of a PLM is important, the training of a PLM is notoriously known to be computationally expensive. In RQ2, we are interested to know the PLMs that have the best trade-off between performance and training time. We compute the performance to time ratio. We measure the training time it takes to fine-tune a PLM and compare the time with its performance in the downstream task. We observe that Monolingual PLMs fine-tuned on the combined dataset have the best performance-to-time ratio. Researchers should consider choosing monolingual PLMs if they were to pre-train a PLM from scratch. In RQ3, we are interested to understand the best settings for zero-shot downstream tasks. For example, if we fine-tune a PLM that is pre-trained with programming language A on a programming language B, and test it on a programming language C. We have a better performance over a PLM that is pre-trained and fine-tuned using the same target programming language. 
We observe that for the zero shot settings, PLMs fine tuned on the Python dataset has the best performance. Researchers should consider using the Python dataset to fine tune PLMs for Ruby. In RQ4, we are interested to understand if the PLM has any effects on the length of the code. This is because developers write code in different lengths. We segregate the target test data into four different code length groups based on the length distribution of code fragments in the target programming language. We observe that for different code lengths, there is similar performance when the PLMs are tested on all the code lengths. Different programming languages have different syntax, and code fragments written in different languages are usually non-interchangeable. We propose a strategy to choose in advance programming languages that can work well for fine-tuning multilingual PLMs for code summarization and code search. For code summarization, we consider a suitable programming language that can be used to fine-tune a PLM for a target programming language to have both similar semantics and texture properties compared to the target programming language. For code search, based on our empirical experiments, we have observed that PLMs fine-tuned with the combined multilingual dataset perform best. Thus, we propose using the combined multilingual dataset to fine-tune the PLMs. Our proposed strategies in selecting programming languages for fine-tuning downstream tasks are effective. We observe improvement in both the downstream tasks, code summarization and code search. That's all. Thank you for your interest in this work. I will be happy to answer any questions during the Q&A.